Welcome to Electra Online. So what is the Wien's Displacements Law? Well, Wien discovered that there was a relationship between the radiated energy in wavelength versus the temperature of the object that the radiation came from. And so he also found that the relationship was inversely proportional. In other words, as the temperature went up, the wavelength became shorter. As the temperature went down, the wavelength became longer. And it was according to Planck's a distribution of the radiation, the black body radiation curve, which meant that at lower temperatures, the wavelengths emitted would be longer. At higher temperatures, the wavelengths would be shorter. Also, we found that the intensity of the radiated energy increased with higher temperature and decreased with lower temperature, which is according to the Stefan Boltzmann's law. So if we want to calculate the wavelength, the peak wavelength, of course, there's a range of wavelengths, but we're talking about the peak wavelength, the highest uh, or, or the wavelength of the peak energy radiated from a particular object, that's what I should uh, say. If we want to find out what that is, we take the constant, which is 0 0.0002898 meter times Kelvin, divided by the temperature of the object in Kelvin. For short, we typically use 0 0.0029, which is accurately, accurate enough because there's always a difficult, uh, it's very difficult to measure the exact temperature or the exact wavelength of that peak radiation. So if we want to calculate the wavelength for an object at 500 Kelvin versus an object at 5000 Kelvin, let's go ahead and do that. Since it's inversely proportional to the temperature, if we increase the temperature tenfold, we expect a reduction in the wavelength of 10, uh, 10 as well. So let's see if that's the case. So first, let's do it for 500 Kelvin. So for 500 Kelvin, we take the wavelength is equal to 0 0.0029, that would be meters times Kelvin, divided by 500 Kelvin. And so that would be lambda is equal to and let's just get a calculator to make sure we get the right decimal point. Point zero zero two nine divided by 500. That would be 5.8 micrometers. So it would be 5,800 nanometers at a temperature of 500 Kelvin. Of course, 5,800 5, nanometers would be in the infrared wavelength. If we now do it for 5,000 Kelvin, which begins to approach the surface temperature of the sun, we would then have lambda is equal to 0 0.0029 meter times Kelvin divided by 5,000 Kelvin. So that would give us a wavelength equal to about 580 nanometers. One tenth the length compared to before because the temperature is 10 times as high. Now for the sun, the temperature is more like around 5,800 Kelvin for a typical peak wavelength around 500 nanometers. But notice that is what we call the Wien's displacement law. Very useful because that way if we know either the temperature or the wavelength of the radiated energy, we can then figure out the other component. And that is how it's done.